Hello ladies and gentlemen, and in this video we're going to be talking about how we can upload our images to Pro Image Editors. Once you've signed into your account, you can click the My Orders tab and you can see all the orders that you have. Now for this case, we just kindly ask that you ignore these last two since they were put there as demonstration purposes. So any new order that you have will appear first on the list. When you're ready, we click the Upload button. And here we are presented with our three options. The first option being the web upload. This is great for small files or single files as the file size is limited to 100 megabytes. The other options are FTP and using a direct link from sources like Dropbox, but we'll get into that in the next video. So for this case, we'll choose web upload and click submit. So. We're now at the page where we can actually upload the files. And to do this, we click this Add Files button. Now, before we do that, we do recommend that you zip file the two files that we need Pro Image Editors to uh, work with. And now these two files are going to be the Smart Previews and the LR Catalog file. Those are the only two files that Pro Image Editors really need to get the job done. Now, to zip them, it's very, very simple. You just need to select them each with Command or Control, right-click on them, and on a Mac, you click Compress These Items, and on a PC, Send to Archive. Select, let it do its thing, and you can see your newly created folder or zip file. Let's rename this file to our job name, and voila. Now we go back to the uploading page, click the Add Files, and select the zip file. Once we're happy, we can click the Open button, and we let it do its thing. And there we go. That's how easy it was. Once this is done, it'll take a few seconds to process the order, and the page will refresh. Excellent. And we click Done once we're happy. And that's how easy it is to, to upload files using the web uploader. In the next video, we're going to be talking about how we do it with the FTP client. And until then, thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.